Peace up. Peace up. Peace up. Back to Cliff and Puck live from Radio Row in Atlanta for our exclusive coverage of Super Bowl 53. Brought to you by Zeke's Pizza, homegrown in the Northwest. On your one and only home for the NFL, Seattle Sports Radio 950, KJR. Atlanta yeah. doesn't have any salt sitting anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, they're, not, they're not ready. Man, mm. but, but the city shut. I'm talking about the airport shuts everything down. Now. Everything for just a half an inch of snow. You're like, man, Midwest, it's, it's snowing yeah, every man. day. I, I, you know what I said? I said, man, I need to go buy me some trucks and leave them in Atlanta. Oh, man. I'm making a killing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Killing yeah. salt trucks. <laughs> yeah, 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 man. Yeah. Yeah. But guess what? It never snows, though. It's still a false alarm. It doesn't, but doesn't do like once a year. Money. Yeah. It, it's, yeah the, right? it's, it's the boy yeah. that cried wolf, I guess. That's man. exactly you know, what it is. You know, it, it, as my coach used to tell me in, in college, Bush Davis, right? He used to always say, it only catches up with you when it catches up with you. Mm, and yeah. I'm like, what the? I used to be like, <laughs> what, that, what, what, I, mean? what the hell does that mean? I don't know, but it sounds <laughs> you know, smart. Yeah, right, you know, right, like, right. what does it mean? Be like, we, knowledge. We, we all look at each other like, what the hell are they talking about? <laughs> yeah, and then yeah, all of a sudden, yeah. when it happens and it catches up with you and you yeah. don't have an answer, you're like, oh, that's what the hell that's he's exactly talking about. What you mean. <laughs> I got a question for you, bro. Yeah. Um, now, Tom Brady yeah. playing lights out. Playing, I mean, I, I think he's the GOAT just off championships, yeah. right? You play with uh, who I think is the although we bodied him in the uh, <laughs> Super Bowl. <laughs> uh, but you play with a great, too. Like, yeah. what, what, is, like what, what do you think is the common denominator for those guys and what made them so great outside of having great receivers? Uh, you know what? I'm glad you put the receivers in there <laughs> because you definitely need that. Um, <laughs> you know what? I really feel like, like when I, I don't know Tom Brady as much, but I know, like Peyton Manning, like there's nobody on earth that, I, that prepares harder than him. Mm-hmm. And, I, and I'm just in life, mm-hmm. right? I really feel like the dude has his days planned out. Like mm-hmm. his alarm goes off at 7 in the morning. Mm-hmm. He's putting his socks on at 7.05. He's brushing his teeth at 7.10, <laughs> 7.15. Like a he's, training camp yeah, schedule. Yeah, you know, he's like 7.15. He's probably asking his wife. Well, he's not asking. He's probably asking the maid, right? He's asking his maid. <laughs> he's asking his maid. Like, How's his wife doing? Yeah, <laughs> you know, like what we have for Send breakfast. Her a note for me. You know, you know what I mean? So. I really feel like these, do, you know, like he he's so prepared. There's nothing that's going to catch him off guard. And, I, mm-hmm. and, and the ultimate thing that the, the the I guess the common denominator is that with that is they don't have as much of a social life because mm-hmm. there's not very many places you can go yeah, without being right. harassed. Mm-hmm. Right. But at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, we're mentioning their names as mm-hmm. one of the best ever. So that's mm-hmm. the sacrifice. You know what I mean? So like they, they just prepare harder than everybody else, and I guess that's why they. You make all the big Does that bucks. remind you of the guy you played with? Who did I play with? With, with uh, Wilson, with Russell? Oh, yeah, Russell, yeah, Russell, yeah, Russell definitely prepares like that. Uh, Russell came in like that. I don't, I don't know where that came from. I don't know if that was something yeah. that was instilled in him as a child yeah. or was uh, mm-hmm. school that he came with was at Wisconsin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if that's where that came from. But, you know, uh, like I say, pr- uh, the five Ps, uh, proper preparation prevents piss poor performance. And, uh, wow. and wow. Right. Okay. <laughs> I love oh, it. I, love I it. like that I one. Yeah. Right. Right. So, so at the end of the day, like for me, like I was, I was nervous and nervous, like starting out when I running track and playing football. But I realized if I really, if I overworked myself and if I came to practice early and I stayed late, yeah. I wasn't nervous. I was more excited. I was yeah. ready to play. Yeah, you're ready because I got you something do to well. show. Yeah, you want to yeah. do well. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, it, it, and that was like how I was with Peyton. We did a lot of extra stuff all the time, even when we didn't feel like doing it. Mm-hmm. But we knew at the end of the day, we was gonna get better. Mm-hmm. And like, we would do stuff, and 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 all of a sudden, at games, we wouldn't do it in the game it was like mm-hmm. damn we stayed and did all that extra stuff mm-hmm. and we ain't doing the game but, call it right but then he'll give you that look five weeks later and, and you, you know knew what exactly it what it was you know what mm-hmm. i mean so right. it's just it's just being able to prepare and do it over and over again and i think what part of the problem is today is a lot of guys they get bored easy mm-hmm. that, you know yeah, so you gotta we live yeah, into, yeah you got you gotta fight boredom you know just because you feel like you've done it five times you feel like man i did it i'm cool with it and you I, move on to something else but you ain't perfected what you was doing in the beginning. And it becomes second nature. Exactly. Right? It becomes exactly. second nature. So it's to the point where you're doing stuff, you ain't even realize you were doing it, right. but you've done it so, so much it just, become, exactly. yeah, it just became a part of it. Now right. that makes a lot of sense. Uh, former CX wide receiver Ricardo Lockett, uh, Reggie Wayne, former uh, Colts wide receiver, uh, with us at Cliff and Puck Live from Radio Row, brought to you by Zeet's Pizza and the uh, Emerald Queen uh, Casino. Ricardo, how are you, how are you feeling? I feel good, man. You look good. You look good. good. I brushed my hair today, man. Yeah, it looks good. It's going down, man. Do you got nothing, not, no other, like, lasting effects of what, what happened? Well, well, no. I mean, you know, I broke my neck and, yeah. you know, 
I mean, that's what I signed up for. Yeah. That's how I look at it. Because from the position that I played, uh, well, I played receiver, right. but mostly it was, you know, control control the field. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people don't even think about special teams in that way. But for me, every time we kicked, every time uh, they were going to receive the ball, I would talk to Dan Quinn, the defensive coordinator. I said, Coach, where do you want to be? Where, you, where, would you like, where would you like the defense to start? No. He said, hey, Locke, uh, put us on the six. And every single time he said that, and you can ask Dan Quinn, I put him inside the 10. Right. So that was my goal. That was my goal. So, like, we controlled it. And then once we, yeah. once we, if we're returning the kick, I'm, I'm, I'm with Bro. I'm with Reggie. Hey, let's go. We, hey, right. we're going. We're going. Right. I, don't give, I, don't, I don't care if he's 300 pounds. I don't care if he's 200 pounds. Right. I don't care if he's blind. Uh, I don't care. Yeah. That's my own, Reggie's my only concern, and we're mm-hmm. going to get it done. Right. So when, it, when they came after me, I, it was more on some military stuff. It was like, hey, man, fallen soldier, man. And I threw up the L, and, and, and my guys, they yeah. finished the job for me. That was the only reason I threw the L up, so they could finish the job, right. not knowing if I was going to walk again. Not knowing if I was gonna hug my mom again, not knowing if yeah. I was gonna see my son or wow. blah blah blah. But at that time, so with my neck broken, <laughs> the only thing that I cared about was my boys finishing the mission, and that's that's the same ag- aggression and, and uh, you know determination I came to practice with every single day. Reg, do you have you have boys? I got four boys. Four boys. Mm-hmm. Four boys, man. Uh, it's it's never a, a quiet time in the house. <laughs> never never dull moment. Let them play football. Um, yeah, I let them play. I let them play. I even let them play the piano. I let them do whatever they want to do. <laughs> you know, but, but we're gonna do something. You yeah. know what I mean? But mm-hmm. that was that was the reason why I I shut it down. You know, like we it, 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 we always feel like we're gonna play forever. We all feel like we 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 you know mortal. You know, mm-hmm. immortal. You know, yeah. so it's like that was that was the reason for me shutting it down. Like. My, did that my, get you a little my, emotional? No, nah, it, it did, about? man, because, like, man, we take a lot of stuff for granted, man. Yes. You know, we take so much stuff for the granted. You know, you know how many people want to be sitting here, you know, and, and talk football? You know what I'm saying? Like, for me, my kids, you know, for my 14-year career, my family never lived with me full time. Mm. Like, the, the curriculums in Miami and the curriculum, in, you know, in, in, in Indianapolis were so different school-wise. We didn't want to put that strain on them. So, like. They came up for the home games, and we'd pick a game or two for them to come up in an away game. But, you know, obviously for Thanksgiving and Christmas, they would be there. But, like, like man, it was so much stuff that I missed. Mm-hmm. So, like, all of a sudden, I take my small cup of coffee in New England for two weeks. I get out there, and my, my son is playing football. You know what I mean? And my wife's sending me videos. I got boring, man. Like, I can't keep doing that. Like, yeah. I want to be there, man. I want I want to see them the things perform. things that really matter. You know? yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? Really so, matter, yeah. so it's like. I'm sitting up there. First thing I did when I got back, my, you know, soon as I was in New England. As soon as my truck got delivered, got touched the ground from the transporting company, I hopped in and I drove back home. Drove straight to the I crib. I drove back to the crib. You wow. know what I mean? So, so it was like I get there. The first audit business I did, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting ready for teacher, uh, parent-teacher conference. I never did that before. <laughs> yeah. You know right, what I mean? Right, but, right. But, it, but, it, but, it, but it felt great. It felt you know great what I mean? to be a part yeah, of it. Because – you know, the teachers say, man, you know, like, he's going to be fine. You know, he's going to mm-hmm. – and then they, the, the look that they look at give you, you know, after the teacher says that, man, that's priceless. Like, yeah, that's stuff that pride. I was missing, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it was like, like man, I, that's the stuff I miss. Right. I needed to be there for it. It was time for me to be an all-pro dad and not an all-pro receiver. I heard mm-hmm. that. Big I got time. one more for y'all. So, so you won the Super Bowl, and you kind of hear what he was talking about as yeah. far as for, like, the love for – like, the man just broke his neck, and yeah. he he think about his players. He think right. about the guys that's it's on the crazy, field, man. and like that was really like the type of love that we have for each other. Right. Like we like till this day, like we see each other, it's it's all love. It's, like it's all genuine. Mm-hmm. Now with your Super Bowl runs, was that the same vibe? That's the same feel that you guys had. You know what I'm man, saying? Absolutely, man. Like we together, we we're together more than we with our family. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. Yeah, so it's it's a brotherhood, man. It's family. Mm-hmm. Um, it's 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 one of those things like. Bro, it's to this day. I hadn't played in four years. Mm-hmm. To this day, we got a chat together with. A, I got about four or five different chats. Yeah, you know, with, all like, guys. with all the guys. Yeah. Like we still talk. We still we we still. Whenever somebody's got something going on, you know what I'm saying? We 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 talk. We we show up. We 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 we, you know, like community related. Whatever. Like man, what you got? Man, I got such and such going on in the community. Come through. I'm coming. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And we're not even in the same cities. Yeah. Cool. You know what I mean? So it's a, it's a brotherhood, man. It's family. And I think if that's, that, that family part of the game, if it's not there, 
You don't get nothing done. Yeah. Well, we got to we gotta yeah. go. I want, but I have to do this on the air. This is the 2000 Miami Hurricane roster. You ready for this, Ricardo? Let's hear it. The talent on this. Uh, I'm going to skip over some names, but Najee Davenport, Clinton Portis, Santana Moss, Reggie Wayne, Andre Johnson was a freshman wide receiver. Jeremy Shockey was a freshman tight end. Uh, Brian, is this a real team? This is a real this, team. This is their college this team, This is their bro. college team. Oh. Offensive lineman, Bryant McKinney. Uh, William Joseph. Remember defensive lineman? Yeah. First Dan rounder. Morgan, linebacker, First was a rounder. senior. Yeah. Philip Buchanan, sophomore First defensive rounder. back. Junior safety, Ed Reed. Yeah. <laughs> Junior oh, DB, Mike man. Rumpf. Yeah. Uh, da, da, First da, 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 what am I missing? For, Y'all was I can run it all. Y'all won it all. Philip Buchanan. Philip Buchanan. Y'all won it all, right? They won the year after I left. They won it the next year, the 2001. Listen, we, 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 my senior year was kind of like right when the BCS was kicking in, yeah. right? Yeah. And we lost to Washington the first game of the season. Yeah. Right? It, to yeah. us, we went to Washington. A lot of us, we ain't traveling that yeah, far. Like, yeah. it was a vacation for us. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> right. we looked at the scoreboard. We was losing 23 nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah. We made a comeback, but we just ran out of time. And we lost that game and ran the table on and everybody else. Yeah. And we played Louisiana Tech right before the Florida State game or something. We played Louisiana Tech, and we only beat them. We was beating them bad, and then we took the starters out, and then they kind of came back. Yeah. And we only beat them by, like, 15 points. Right. And the BCS was like, that wasn't big enough. Yeah, yeah. And instead of playing in the championship game, we played in the Sugar Bowl, and we uh. beat the mess out of the Florida game. <laughs> <laughs> we was hey. upset. Reggie, thank you so Appreciate much. It, that was, that was Ricardo, thank you, man. I'm no glad problem. you're doing great. No uh, uh, we'll take a timeout. We'll come back. Respect. Kyle Turley will join us more from Radio Row right here on 950 KJR.